Well, hi, everyone. Welcome to the Buffett and Beyond Research Stock of the Week. And we're talking about the new Carrier Global Corporation. And it's up 264% in four years. And remember, folks, if you want to live on the speech like Jimmy Buffett once did, you've got to learn how to invest even better than Warren Buffett does now. And let's go over Carrier Global Corporation. Folks, this is a new name because we all used to call it Carrier Air Conditioning Company, remember? Okay, Carrier Global is a leader in intelligent, and there's that word there, folks, right now, intelligent climate and energy solutions with a focus on providing differentiated, digitally enabled life cycle solutions for its customers. In other words, we're talking about smart buildings, smart homes, and Carrier operates in three segments, HVAC, heating, ventilation, and air conditioning, refrigeration and fire and security however the deals are in place to exit fire and security and commercial refrigeration business and they just purchased the climate solutions arm of Weissman for a mere $14.2 billion. Now, prior to 2020, Carrier was a subsidiary of UTX, United Technology, or which was the United Technology Company, and then changed its name to UTX. So Carrier Global is now a new company getting rid of some of the old profit centers and taking on a new area because folks, the some of the buildings they're building now, and I'm talking about so many of the universities because I've been to so many different schools where you have the windows open in the winter because it's too hot in the rooms and you have your windows open in the summer because it's too cold in the rooms. And Carrier is the company or one of the companies that is intelligent climate and energy solutions right up here, folks. So that's what we're looking at now. And let us look at how this company has been doing over the past I have five-year average, but really the company is only about four years old. So we're looking at the four-year averages relative to the average stock in the S&P 500, which are these blue vertical lines. So we're looking at the clean surplus return on equity, 23%. And think of this as your bank account. Would you rather be in bank account that's paying you 13.5% or bank account that's paying you 23%? That's how you analyze the clean surplus return on equity because it is not, not, repeat, not the traditional accounting return on equity. Net income growing at an average rate of about 13.9%, where the average stock at 13%, not much of a difference there, and I'm going to explain why. Now, revenue, 9.6% is nicely above the average stock of 7.1%. Remember, the goal is to outperform the S&P 500 because the 2002 report from Morningstar said that over any 10-year rolling period, 96% of professional money managers who manage the publicly traded mutual funds, 96% of them cannot outperform the S&P 500 over any 10-year period. That's what we excel at, picking stocks out of ETFs and stocks out of indices like the S&P 500 that outperform that index. And folks, we have consistently or almost consistently every year outperformed the S&P 500 in over 22 years, almost three to one on a compounded basis over the S&P 500. So let's look at this system and see where it carries us get it carrier okay here we go we want to look at 23 and 24 and you can see that this net income is not the traditional accounting net income nor is it the traditional accounting earnings it is the clean surplus earnings which means you take traditional accounting earnings and take out the non-recurring items and future liabilities you know all those options you hear about that they give to management well we have to account for those folks and the traditional accounting method does not do that so here we are we went up only come back over here 4.4 percent and that's why the stock has not performed that well this year even though it has performed much better than the s p 500. so we're looking at a clean surplus roe and it's trying to settle in at around 20%. And that's what we need in order to get into our growth portfolio. We want to see that ROE above 20%. So we've got that going for us. Retention rate, about 74%. And what we do here is we look at 
how much the, of what the company makes is it putting it back into itself in order to grow. We like to see 100%, but those are pretty small companies that usually do that. And the retention rate here of 74, 75% is really pretty good. So we kind of like that. And our net income growth, and that's what we're talking about because the average over five years or four and a half years or so, 13.9%, but for 24 and projected for 25, not as high as we'd like to see it, folks. And then when we get to revenue growth, how much of that revenue goes to the bottom line? So the revenue growth is the huge amount of revenue that it takes in. What's it bring to the bottom line for profit is your net income growth rate. And that's what we want to see. So this company is not as high as some of the other companies we looked at. And we're going to look at one of those companies in just a second. Now, years to pay debt. Well, it just bought a big company and used a lot of debt to do that. But this is the direction that this company carrier is heading into are those smart buildings and smart homes with heating and air conditioning. So Buffett's rule of thumb is he likes to see five years or less. In other words, a company can pay off its debt using all the money it's making in five years or less. We like to see three years or less. So we're looking at this, but we know what they're using it for. They're using it to buy another company. Okay, let's see what carrier has done or Carrier Global has done this year, and this is the difference between 2023 and 2024, right in here. This is December, and if we draw this line across in here, we can see that it was below it, it was above it, and then all of a sudden, better news is coming out for the future of this company, and it shot up like a rocket. Very, very nice. And now, here's the important thing. When we look at an ETF or we look at an index, we want to plot it against the S&P 500 because if we're going to pick the best stocks in that ETF or that index, we want to get into or look at the indices and the ETFs that outperform the S&P 500. We pick the best stocks in those ETFs, the above average stocks, and we should outperform the S&P 500 every time. And folks, we come pretty close to that. So down here, the black line is the S&P 500 and the XHB, this yellow colored mustard or mustard yellow colored line is the home building ETF. This red line is Carrier Global. But look where the S&P is over the past one year. It's up about 22%. And folks, both the XHB, the housing ETF or home building ETF and carrier are more than double the S&P 500 over just one year. Well, what's this big blue line up here? Folks, we went over this stock a couple of weeks ago and we just love it. And this is installed building products. And it is what, four or five times higher than the S&P 500? Doing very, very nice indeed. And we are putting this and have been putting it into our growth portfolio and our ETF portfolio. So folks, yeah, we got a good one here. But is Carrier going to be able to start approaching or keep it, it? I mean, if it keeps going the way it's going, we love it. But can it outperform even the XHB, the home building ETF itself, which is this brown or yellow colored line? And Carrier, again, is the red line, and they're both performing equally right now over the past one year. Let's go to the past four years. Black line again, S&P 500. The yellow colored line is the home building ETF. And we can see that over four years, yeah, Carrier is doing very, very well. It's about three times more than the S&P 500 over the past four years. And what about our favorite installed building products? Yeah, it's up four, more than four times 
about four and a half times that of the S&P 500, outperforming the index, again, which is the home building ETF, and it's outperforming carrier. But carrier is, look at this, it's on the way up, isn't it, folks? So it's doing, it, it's a stock we want to keep an eye on for sure. And folks, we're going to look at carrier. We've already have installed building products, so we have a couple of good stocks there. And we're looking at carrier global because that is an up and company coming company it's changed its outlook it's getting into a field that is demanded by all of us in other words efficiently heated and efficiently cooled homes and building and folks that's where the future is so remember if you want to live on this beach like jimmy buffett used to or be on this sailing ship and watching or sailing boat watching the sunset like jimmy buffett used to then you've got to learn how to invest even better than warren buffett does now so folks you have a great weekend stay safe and we'll be right back with you in a few days